Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was just editing this week's vlog and I was so excited because there's some great stuff in here. We have multiple NFL in London events. We have all this beautiful sightseeing around London, all this. I load it into my computer. It's in slow-mo. I recorded for weeks with my camera in the slow-mo setting. So not only does that mean there is no sound, it is unsalvageable. It also means all the video is kind of unusable. There are some cool slow-mo shots that still work, but for the most part, I'm just gonna really trim it down and throw a lot out of there. So I just wanna warn you that the first couple minutes of this week's vlog, I'm going to be voicing over to explain what's going on and using the shots that I do like the most from the slow-mo footage. And then I have some cell phone footage as well. So I do apologize that the quality is a bit dropped off for the cell phone footage. Because overall, it's been a very eventful couple weeks to kick off March and I really wanna show you everything we've been up to. So just bear with me for the first couple minutes i promise it'll be worth it because we have some awesome things to show in this one the first event in this week's vlog is with an nfl player who's in town and with his social media department and their team's video department i give them a tour of my favorite places in london so that was god like the perfect meeting of my two favorite things the nfl and London. <laughs> and that video should be dropping on social media in a couple days. So once I get it, I'll put the link to that in this description too. And then there's another NFL event. This one's with flag football between the Bears and the Jets. They hosted this girls flag football event. So that was an amazing opportunity to go to. I'll take you there with me. And I need your opinion because I think a very famous TV show was filmed in the stadium we were at, but I'm not sure. So weigh in. I've been so looking forward to this event. It's the Cheltenham Horse Race. It's out in the English countryside and it is chic, 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 chic fashion. It is British excellence and I got invited. I got a VIP invite and I got to bring along a very special friend, someone very familiar in the vlog. You will love it. If I ever actually pick out an outfit for it. And then Sam, straight off the plane from Romania in a huge playoff game, takes me on the most romantic date night in London and Sure, I booked it, but that's a detail. He showed up and paid. <laughs> so we had so much fun, a lot of laughs. I can't wait to show you where we go. An amazing new restaurant recommendation in London, or new to us, it's been open about a year, so I can't wait to show you that place. And then get your tissues because it's Wolfie's first haircut. And it was uh, such a weird thing for me. He's almost two years old, he looks so cute. And I can't wait to show you the after. I'm gonna miss those little curls though. They did chop away his golden curls. But this is a great vlog. Again, bear with me for the first couple minutes. I will voice it over so you'll know exactly what's going on and you'll get some very cinematic slow-mo shots. Hope you enjoy. What a beautiful morning waking up on the Thames and an early start for me today as I'm doing my last minute prep. I'm enjoying my coffee. I'm starting my makeup. I got to be camera ready. I can't wait to show you where we're going. I also like getting ready with the natural light. Lately, I've been using Huda baking powder. There it is. You got to let it sit for like five minutes. So it always looks kind of funny. Ready to go. So that's Tremaine Edmonds. He's a linebacker for the Chicago Bears, and that's what this shoot is today. He was awesome. We had so much fun. I was working with the Chicago Bears to give him a tour around London because the Bears are playing in London next fall. They're starting to promote, do some marketing trips, everything. So I was just the girl for the job, if I do say so myself. They reached out to me a couple days before, and I couldn't resist. So I got to take him to all my favorite places in London. Here we are at the Ritz in Mayfair, so much fun. You saw we got to go on the double-decker bus and I was giving him a lay of the land as we started off. It's amazing. Then we had to Piccadilly Circus and he was kind of like, yeah, it looks like Times Square. It was amazing. You can see all the people who worked on the shoot. They're all with the bears. We had so much fun. Okay, isn't that the most beautiful shot right there with the bird and the London bus? Okay, just had to shut up so you could enjoy that. So yeah, a lot of fun. It was chilly out and my feet were killing me by the end because I'm wearing these heeled boots from Dune London. They are linked in the video description. 
I love him so much. But yeah, after a lot of walking, it hurt. This is Notting Hill. How beautiful is Notting Hill on Portobello Road? I had to show him that. We did a little souvenir shopping. I was very excited about that one. That was his mom, by the way, I was talking to. She was so lovely. She came along with. Then I had to show him a sausage roll because it's my favorite British food. I post about it a lot, actually. You probably have seen me and Wolfie enjoying sausage rolls all around London. So I had to show him. That one's from Greg's and it actually was not very good. So I was disappointed. I didn't have time to take him to a better place. Here we are in Trafalgar Square and we had a blast here. This is where most of our outdoor shooting ended. Then we go to the NFL office, which is near Trafalgar Square, so it was perfect. We actually did not plan this. We just popped in at the end. We thought we'd surprise the people there. I don't think they were expecting a real NFL player to just walk in unannounced. I had to have some fun with that Packer helmet. And here's the end. Okay, that day was so much fun. Now, on to the next thing. I'm getting ready for Cheltenham, which is a horse race out in the English countryside. It's the only jumping horse race, I believe, that takes place on the racing calendar in England. So I had to look great. This is a fashion event almost more than it is a sporting event if you're me. So trying on a lot of things, hats, tweeds, everything. Some more to come on that later. Now, my friend Haley McGill was in town. She's a flight attendant for Delta, so she pops into London every once in a while. There's her sister, Courtney. I took him to Gordon's Wine Bar, which is my favorite place to take visitors. And why are we flipping a coin, you may ask? It's because we couldn't decide which musical to see in about 30 minutes. <laughs> we were between Hamilton, where you can see one, and that's where we ended up going, and Wicked. Now, this was my fourth time seeing Hamilton, and I could see it 400 more times. Just loved it. So much fun seeing Haley. Now we are at a London Lions basketball game, and that's my squad right there. Casey, Amy, Lolly. So much fun. Just a Sunday British Basketball League game, not a playoff game. So we're able to enjoy ourselves. Okay, Amy, look how chic and amazing she looks. That's her boyfriend, Luke Nelson, who's Sam's teammate. Lolly, oh my goodness, body, body, body. My Spanish mamacita enjoying an orange wine. We all went out for dinner after with all the guys, which is so fun. We don't get to do that enough. This is the next day as I'm getting ready for an NFL flag football event. And right here, I'm really just showing you my hair. And blazer, I love that Zara blazer. So that was the look of the day. This is Cherry Red Records Stadium. It's out in Southwest London. And I was so convinced that that was the set of Ted Lasso. Am I wrong? Does that not look just like Ted Lasso? Anyways, over 200 girls showed up to this event. It was so nice from 20 schools around London, hosted by the Bears and the Jets. Then I rushed over to meet Sam and Wolfie for lunch at B Street Deli on Bermondsey Street. It's right by the London Bridge Station. It's one of our favorite go-tos, and it's also right by a little park that we like. Grabbed a bite at a pub, and that's the end of the voiceover section. It is Cheltenham morning. I'm so excited. I'm doing the baking powder again. I still don't know what I'm wearing. I'm leaving in a little bit. I have been toiling with what to wear to this event for weeks now since I found out I was going because look, it is a fashion event first and horse racing second. I cannot wait. They call it um, fashion week for the country set, <laughs> which is not me, but I can pretend for a day. So let's go look at my options. There's like mid fifties. So it's not that cold, but the outfit I was really banking on is all around a coat and I can't really take the coat off because underneath is just like shells. So, eh. uh, let's see. And this is still really what I'm leaning on. 
Delke Bennett, I wore it around Christmas. It's very thin, so I don't think I'd be like hot. I just worry that the tartan and the fur just gives off very Christmassy winter vibes, but I also think that's just in my own head. I think it's actually probably a good transitional wintry spring outfit. <laughs> do this with it, I think it's so pretty. I wore it to the shoe this week too, so I don't know if I wanna do it twice, but I thought it kinda adds some flair and some fun. Now, I would be doing this with some kind of black legging. I was thinking a black turtleneck or this black kind of undershirt that I love from Free People, or lean more into the navy of the coat and do a navy turtleneck. Problem is I'm doing black bag, black boots. So, I'm having a dilemma with that. I also have this black hat, which is like, oh, just the cutest little side angled pillbox hat. This is what I ordered um, to go with the coat. I mean, the colors match amazingly, so I couldn't resist. And it goes on just like a headband, so it's comfortable, it's really cute. Now, I read somewhere that this is a summer hat because of the texture, it's straw and all that. I think if you really know what you're doing, which people at this place will, want to be committing a fashion faux pas with a summer hat, Wolfie's waking up. Can you hear me on me? Back up. Oh, you is this fascinator. I think it's a fascinator because it just goes on the side of your head. And it's black watch tartan, which this is too. They're a little different. But again, if it's <laughs> Wolfie. Are you? Dad is in Romania. I'm struggling. More options. If it was gonna be sunny and gorgeous today, this is what I was going to do. This skirt suit set. I just got it tailored. It fits like a glove. Pearl detail. It's from the eighth sign. It is so stunning. And I ordered this to go with it. This too, I really like. I just don't think it makes much of a statement. I was gonna do it with um, black tights, black boots, and that black pillbox hat. So warm weather option. Cold weather option, safe option. And I still don't know. I've ordered seven hats. So, there's that. Mama, where are you? Hey, what are you doing? Mama, where are you? <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here, my baby. Mama. Mama robe. Mama robe, yeah. Wolfie well, has a robe. Do you wear your robe to church? No. Do you wear your robe to the playground? No. Do you wear your robe to school? No. Do you wear your robe to the store? No. Do you wear your robe to basketball games? No. Do you wear your robe around the house when you're relaxing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you up early, my love? Look at this face, look at this angel. I don't think I've ever really shown Wolfie's room in here. It is so cute. Halloween costume there. He's Captain America. He made this for me in church the other day for Mother's Day. All those nice pictures, family pictures. My dad has little trophies, Wolfie, you see? made that for Sam for his birthday last year, and it looks so cute in here. I got this little Union Jack bunting in York with Wolfie. It's been stained by tea, so it kind of has that old-fashioned look, which I love. Hi, Mama. Hi, baby. You ready for a good day? Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't resist. An American werewolf in London. My purse and shoe closet. Dee, dee, dee. <laughs> Mine and Sam's jacket closet. Basically all my blazers. Some shoes. And then we just got this dresser. <laughs> second I put this on, I kind of put my doubts at ease. I think this has to be it. It's so beautiful. The colors are the perfect match. And you know, it's my first English race event. I want to like really lean into it. Do uh, hair up or down. Let me just throw in one other hat option just to play with it. Pillbox hat, which I think is so cute. And there's a lot of black in the coat, so it's a nice match. I know seasonally this is appropriate because it's felt or wool. Um, 
I think it's obviously way safer. <laughs> I don't know. This is really pretty too and just really chic. It's just such a different vibe. I've seen pictures of people at this thing and people go all out and today's ladies day, Wednesday, and it's like the style day. So I feel like I wanna lean in to like doing the big old hat. Really iconic. I feel like I see Princess Kate. Speaking of which, she's still missing. Um, but I feel like she always wears like a kind of off to the side pillbox. So I do think that's really cute. I could do it on this side too. Ah, I don't know. Third option, which see the tartan not matching up exactly, I think is a little bit less noticeable once it in. Um, I think that's really pretty. A bird. A bird in my hair. A bird in my hair. Um, I don't know. This is, you know, easy, low maintenance. Um, pretty, it's simple. I don't know. Okay, maybe this is the one I throw in my bag if I feel ridiculous in the bigger hat. And then I can really tone it down with this. Is that my move? Maybe that's my move. Big. It's big. Yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about. So I ran here, barely made it. I look a mess. After all that time, we're getting ready. I got up at 6 a.m. and now I look a mess. I was running here. Here's Amy looking so cute. And everyone on this train already has a drink in their hand, so I think we just should join them. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. First Cheltenham. Yeah, I can't wait. Are you, looks like you're reading horse to horse. I know. Should we, should you give us any tips? No? Okay. Okay. You would think bringing your own yogurt on a train would be a quick way to not make friends, but surprisingly we've made some pretty friends around us. But I can't find a spoon, so just champagne breakfast it is. Champagne and espresso martini. I made some perfume and Amy said, oh that smells so good. I said thanks, it's bisexual. It is not bisexual, it is unisex. <laughs> it's got to go in the notes. I can't oh show the notes. It's no, too... oh no, no. It's too no. Much Do you remember on one of the vlogs we had Maura read her bad date stories? Yes. We could have you read your notes. I would have to select a few because some of them are just not appropriate. Amy keeps this note section in her phone of just like ridiculous things. Yeah. And I've done it for years, so it's just like pages and pages. Just long where, like, we've had a few drinks. Sure. Uh, I don't sure. remember what half of them are about. Speaking of which, an update, we have ordered a little Prosecco. And my yogurt has gone uneaten. <laughs> Gene tea as well. It's amazing, Marco is still friends with us. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Mark, Enjoy the racing. These guys are Owen. Hey. <laughs> and these guys are Owen. They've given me a lovely gin and tonic. Thank you. Got to find some nice Irishmen. There you go. Cheers. Slancha. <laughs> Here we go. We are finally making it in. Finally. Look at Amy's full outfit now that we can see it. My favorite Zara boots, ASOS <laughs> coat. Where's the jacket? Where's the dress? Uh, Michael Kors. Michael Kors. Chic, chic, chic. Okay. Finished lunch in here, which was so lovely. Did not want to vlog in there. It's not a vlogging scene. <laughs> and now the first race is about to start. Fun. Having so much fun. I think the best compliment you got today was you looked like a champagne girl. <laughs> some champagne, some shops. There's a whole shopping district. Love it. Now we are in the shopping village. So just this huge tent with everything I'm into. I am in so much trouble. Look at just all the coats and the hats. Oh my God, you could have shown up to this thing stark naked and gotten your whole outfit here. Oh, just in love. Okay, I found my dream coat. 
<laughs> you can have any of these colors. Oh, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven here. Look how this moves. Mm. This coat needs to come home with me. <laughs> now I am in fur land. Going absolutely crazy. Pretty convinced that I need to buy a fur collar. And look at this. <gasps> what is this? It's mink. It's mink. Oh, my great grandma had a mink coat, and I always thought she was the most glamorous woman in the world. As am I. <laughs> Some damage. Just got the most amazing pants, or as they call it, trousers, and now we're celebrating a little champagne. So what do you do? What is the top part? I don't get it. It's the glass. It's the glass. <laughs> Look how fabulous everyone in here is. <laughs> Hello. Okay, well one, I'm so, so happy I went with the outfit I did because it was chilly. I'm glad I did this because it was kind of a fun little accessory. And like the style today, no one point. Unreal. We both think that maybe the guys were dressed better than the girls. Yes, the three pieces. Like yeah, three piece suits. Smart. Looked like Peaky Blinders. Peaky <laughs> um, okay, so I did go shopping. Yeah, and I'm so excited about some of the things I got, so I wanted to do a little unboxing <laughs> at the train station. <laughs> I think every girl should have in her wardrobe, and I'm so excited about it. And we kind of got linked up with this fashion designer lady, <laughs> this like kind of older British woman who was at our table at lunch, who ended up walking with us. She was like a buyer for Ralph Lauren for a long time. She was fab. And she's the one who convinced me to get this. It was only 45 pounds. It's a fox shawl. And you add it to any coat you already have. Obviously not this one because it has it. Anyways, I feel really good about that. Johnny's done to get some food. from Starbucks. Pat has flown off so many times, but she's cute. These, these pants are obsessed. Obsessed. All girls at Cheltenham, like multiple girls wearing this whole suit set, which is such a turn off. Like I don't want to, I never want to show up in the same outfit as someone. <laughs> Look at us on this cozy English night going through the countryside watching our guys game which is currently frozen. <laughs> Come on. Do, 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 do. With a bottle of Prosecco. Yes, we do want the full thing. The amount of times I've done this with you. Mm. Oh, save the cork. Yes. Yeah, it'll be our Cheltenham cork. And... Yeah. No one else would rather spend these type of days with. Aww. We always have so much fun. Really Cheers, my love. This whole vlog is going to be us drinking on the train. <laughs> I didn't take much with Chelsea. No. <laughs> second, second quarter. Overall, in a tough environment. Great fans against a good team. This is, you know, as good of a start as we could ask for. We just gotta uh, hope for the best for the second half and continue the uh, emphasis on our defense. Out on a little date night. How about me not even telling you guys the good news? They won last night, and here's me with a winner. I thought you were gonna tell them that you're pregnant. Nope. <laughs> Nor am I pregnant, and now, no. We are going on our date night. We are in Covent Garden. Tonight, I had booked for a while. Sam just got back from Romania a couple hours ago. And I'm a vampire. And, and he's a vampire now. Look how cute. So anyways, we are going, okay. <laughs> so we are going to dinner. We're trying a new restaurant tonight. I'm very excited about. And then we're going to see Les Miserables. Okay, this is so cool. We're playing. 
Where are we going? Also, not me wearing the pants I just got yesterday that I showed you great. at Cheltenham. What is it? Out of Mintu Colors. Pokey looking great. Pokey. Look at the Look cherry at blossoms. Your dad's favorite street. Yes. Big fan of cherry That's blossoms. Right. You knew this. I knew this about you. We are at Story Cellars in Seven Dials, in the garden, having a lovely orange wine. We had a complimentary glass of champagne, having some tuna tartare, pickled veggies, fresh sourdough. Oh my god, we're just yum, yum, yum. heaven. This is a very cute spot. It's nice to try a new restaurant. Yeah, it's some garlic. Oh yeah. There's your rotisserie chicken goo. For each of us. Yeah, I wasn't so sure because I just hate fighting with the bone. Oh, oh so I need a drink. Thank you. I love orange wine. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So nice. This place is cozy. It's like kind of French, kind of British. Perfect. <laughs> brunch. No, you just said brunch? French, British, British. British. Brunch. No, brunch. We're having brunch. <laughs> We're way too dumb to have that conversation. See ya. It's fun. Boy, could this be any more different from your night last night? No. <laughs> well, are you still stressed? And I no, I still had dinner and a show. <laughs> Except last night you were the show. I was the show. Sick, loud motorcycle. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I love how loud it is. Oh, the buzz is buzzing in London town. There's nothing I hate more than loud cars and motorcycles. Right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cow, third row. We cannot be closer to the stage. Well, I guess there are two rows. We can be closer to the stage. Could be technically. <laughs> technically, we could be closer to the stage. Cheers, I love you. Having so much fun. Can't wait. Today is a big, big day. Wolfie is getting his first haircut. Oh boy. He's almost two and getting his first haircut. But he's starting to look like a member of the Beatles. This is cute. So it is time. Nice. 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 It's really nice. See this hair one last time. Yeah. It's all over his ears. But I'm not looking forward. <laughs> Good, man. The big bus. The big bus. <laughs> <laughs> here. Good. Hang on, baby. Look at the show. Look at the show. Look at that one. Yellow, and then there's green trees, blue cars. See the fire truck there? What's the fire truck? I mean, look at his hair. Yellow hair. Yellow hair. Water. 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 I think that's okay. Yeah, no, that's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. It does look great. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mommy, no. Handsome. Thank you. Handsome, Mommy, no. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, it tickles. It tickles. Oh, it tickles. Oh, oh, it tickles. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, why? <laughs> Why? Wow, so crazy. Oh, that's great. Oh, I like it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We have had an amazing start to March. I am so excited. The spring weather is around the corner. Every day gets a little bit better. I hear birds chirping and flowers are blooming. Next week's vlog is all basketball, baby. Basketball and some glam. Sam Steen, the London Lions, have made it past the first two rounds of the Euro Cup playoffs. So next up is the final four. Destination is good. You better believe I'm going. I'm not missing this trip. I'm not missing this trip. So I'll see you in the next vlog and you'll get to see where we're going.